Hello everyone, welcome back to weekly Korean life class and my name is Kaizun. 안녕하세요, Kaizun입니다. And 안녕하세요, 침침입니다. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining today's live class too. How are you? 잘 지냈어요? <laughs> 안녕하세요, 크리스, 프락티샤, 코아티, 니아. <웃음> 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. How are you guys? <웃음> oh, it's raining and raining. <웃음> oh, it's sad. The weather is great <웃음> these days. <웃음> Actually, in Korea, April, 4월, and May, 5월 are the one of the best seasons. Mm, yeah. <웃음> I think April, uh, April, May, and October are pretty good. <laughs> so when you want to travel, I recommend these months. 안녕하세요, LJ and Janet, Veronique, Antonio, <laughs> Pilistus, learn Japanese, great! <laughs> Today's topic is very special. I want to give away special materials. What the material is? Do you see the banner? Yes, it's all about the infographics. Again, these infographics are all free. All free. As long as if you uh, as long as you are the member of Korean Class 101 and well, being a member on our website is super easy. Just sign up. <laughs> Again, it's free, free. Free for everyone in public as long as you have the account. 안녕하세요. Kailon and Midori and Yamuna and Rin. Jay, so let me show you the page first. <laughs> oh, Kwati, I'll choose October then. Mm, October is a good choice too. If you go to Korea in October, Shiwal, Shiwal, then you will see autumn leaves, autumn leaves. But if you go to Korea in Sawal or or April or May, then you will see lots of different flowers. So it's up to you. <laughs> you choose. <laughs> Yes, Emily, excited for class. So let me show you for you, uh, Venus and Klee. <laughs> oh, Jay, you had lunch for me. Not yet. <laughs> I didn't have lunch yet. So I'm, I'm hungry. So let me show you the page. Ta -da 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 -da! <laughs> if you click the link in the description, you will see a page like this. Ooh, so what is this page? This is our learn with infographic page. So just scroll, scroll down. By the way, if you don't, if you are not a member of Korean Class 101, mm, as you can see, simple. <laughs> just sign up. Yeah, you can choose. Oops, you can choose your level, and you can uh, just enter your email address. So let me move. Who? Uh, Prakash and. Eramesso, good afternoon, Joseph, 안녕하세요. So this is our uh, infographic landing page where you can download lots of free infographics, asking directions, annoying phrases, April Fool's Day, <laughs> five ways to say thank you. So there are a lot, but the infographic that I want to uh, show during this live lesson is not this. Ja, 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 ja. Let me scroll down a little bit. By the way, again, these are really, really useful materials. Actually, my students told me that uh, they download these infographics and they print it out and put uh, in front of their desk. And they see it every day and they memorize those phrases or words. So they printed one a week and they said it's very, very useful. So please try it. <laughs> Because as you know, the Korean words and phrases are very important for not only beginners, but intermediate advanced learners. So as your levels are getting higher and, hi and higher, the vocabulary matters a lot. So whew, there are a lot, so I keep scrolling down. <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> not yet, let me scroll down a little bit. Ah, here we go! Now we have must know social media phrases. The reason why I want to introduce this infographic is that do you have social media account? 
well, if you are watching uh, my video on Facebook, <laughs> well, you already have Facebook, right? Facebook, or a lot of you are watching me on YouTube, 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 YouTube. So I'm sure you have the social media account. And these are the common phrases that possibly you will use a lot on social media. So, ja 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 jan. Let me choose one. Hmm. Exhausted, disappointed, relationship, big news, family reunion, travel plans. That's a good one too. So, ah, how about this birthday? Because everyone has birthday, right? <laughs> you have birthday, right? <laughs> Maybe some people um don't have the don't have this baby yet. Some of you are not married, but I'm sure. Everyone have birthday once a year, right? <laughs> so let's choose this. And Joanna, oh yes, these are free. So you just need to sign up for koreanclass101.com. And again, you we have paid membership, but to download these materials, you don't need paid membership. As long as you take the free membership, you can download everything here and you can freely print out everything. You saw this a lot, right? I scrolled like many minutes. <laughs> birthday so when you click the blue button yes you will see a page like this so <laughs> Kylo, <감사. laughs> you're welcome you're welcome so let's look at some of these phrases i actually prepared another slide for this Suck. Suck. that's right <laughs> because i want to put note here <laughs> and give some more explanation. <gasps> Learn Japanese. 감사합니다. Thank you so much for your donation. Good luck for learning Korean too. <laughs> Khadija, 네잘 지냈어요. Khadija 씨도 잘 지냈어요. <gasps> 전에 is it midnight there? <laughs> Thank you for learning Korean at midnight with that enthusiastic uh, mind. You will definitely improve your Korean. Miss Sammy loves K-pop. Hello. <laughs> Kwati, anyone who made this material did a great job. Right. It's our team did. Yay. Thank you, Korean Class 101 team. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so thanks to them, I can use these materials for this lesson. So let's start. It looks like Sora. Can you see the uh, text? Maybe it's too small. So 이제 34. Let me write it with big test. So Sora, Sora, this girl's name is Sora, and she said, 이제 34. It means just turned 30 or 30 years old. So let me break down. 이제, 이제 means now, now, or from now on. 30, 30 means 30, and 살 means years old. So 30 years old, 34, 34. By the way, I said 이제 means now, right? What's the difference between 이제 and 지금? Does anyone know the difference here? Anyone? <laughs> oh, Kylon, I'm 18 years old. <laughs> 저는 18살이에요. I'm 18 years old. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Forever 18 years old. So let's focus on the lesson. <laughs> 이제 and 지금, both of them are translated into now in English. But difference is this. 지금 is focusing on current moment. Current moment. So now. Now. But 이제, 이제 is also now, but it has a meaning. From now on. From now on. So for example, 이제 공, 공부할 거예요. Oops. <laughs> 이제 공부할 거예요. It means from now on, 이제 from now on, 공부, 공부, 공부할 is from 공부하다 meaning to study and 거예요 meaning like will. So it's a future tense. From now on, I'll study. I'll study. 지금 공부해요. 
It means I am studying right now. 지금, now. 공부해요 is the present tense. So I study now. But in Korean, we don't always use the present progressive. Like, 공부하고 있어요. So 지금 공부해요. 공, I am studying. I, I study. Those are the same. We just know if it's happening right now or in general we, by looking at the context. So here I'm saying I study now. I study now. But in the context, I know that this is happening right now. So I am studying now. <laughs> oh, well, uh, when, when Ellen? <laughs> Hello from the Philippines. Hello. <laughs> I'm glad you like my videos. Thank you. Yes, Cloud One. So from now on is like 이제 and 지금 means right now. Right now. How about this? 이제 가자. 지금 가자. 이제 가자. 지금 가자. By the way, 가자 means let's go in casual form. Casual form. 안녕하세요, 스토아. <laughs> LJ, you are studying Korea, Korean right now. Awesome. Wellington, you are not so late. <laughs> I just started. So now we have these sentences. In English, both of them are just let's go now, let's go now. But the difference is this. 지금 가자 means now, now, let's go now, now, at this moment, at this moment. 이제 가자 means uh, in the future or from now on, let's go. So the nuance is slightly different. 가디자, that's right, let's go from now on. 지금 가자 is right at this moment and 이제, 이제, from now on, let's go. Yeah, maybe take your bag and then say goodbye and let's go from now on. Let's start it going. And 지금 is let's go now. 지금 가자. <laughs> so do you get the meaning? Oh, John, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, English is hard, but I'm trying. <laughs> so, yes, so this person is saying, 이제 30살. This person is saying, from now on, I'm 30 years old. If this person said, 지금 30살 means, right now I'm 30 years old, and maybe this person is tomorrow, it's not 30 years old. I don't know. It didn't mention anything, but 이제 means from now on, I'm 30 years old. 이제 30살. Good. And another thing that I want to mention is, how can you read this? This. There are two ways to read. One is 30살. The other one is 30살. 30 is Sino-Korean number. And 30 is native, pure Korean word to read this number, <laughs> this number. So which one is correct, teacher? Which one is correct? Both of them are correct. So you can read 30살 or 30살. Then how about this? 25 years old. Is it 25살 or 20살? Oh, oops. <laughs> 25살. <laughs> so 25. 25 Sino Korean word, 25 pure native Korean word. Which one is correct? 25 살 is more natural. <gasps> Why? <laughs> Why? So basically, when we read the Korean age, usually we read, we use native Korean number like this. 25 살. 25 살. Or 30 살. From 30, from 30, and for bigger numbers, we use both. We use both. So, until uh, 29, you just use this native Korean number. But from 30 years old, from 30 years old, we just mix. So, it's up to you. You can say, 서른 살이에요, or 삼십 살이에요. Both are fine. <laughs> okay, just by looking at this, we already covered a lot of phrases. Which do you prefer, Kwati? For me, I often say this, 서른 살, 스물다섯 살. But when the numbers get bigger, like 50 or 60, it's easier to understand when you use this Sino-Korean number. <laughs> okay. The age is always said in native Korean, 
mostly yes more often more often we use native korean number like this 25 살 but after 30 years old we mix you will see a lot of korean people mixing a lot of korean people mixing uh, but i personally think 서른 살 is a little bit more common <laughs> okay so 이제 삼십 살 so everyone in this chat has different age right for example for example does anyone could you type your age <laughs> so i can use your age as an example <laughs> oh john era thank you for the example so 35살 this 30 oops 35살 or 35살 so either is okay but everyone has different age right now right so feel free to use different feel free to use this phrase <laughs> with different age so well since your age changes every year on your birthday like this uh fatima you are 19 years old and in, on your birthday you will be 20 years old right so you can write like this Ize. Feel free to use this phrase on your social media channels and tag me. Then I say happy birthday. <laughs> so feel free to use. And if your Korean friends are seeing your comment, or if you're if you have Korean friends, then they will probably comment like this. 생일 축하해. Do you see this? 생일 축하해. 생일 birthday. 축하해. 축. Kahe is from chukahada. It means to celebrate. So it literally means celebrate, celebrate your birthday. <laughs> 생일 축하해 or just happy birthday. If you want to be a little bit more polite, then don't forget to put yo, yo. 생일 축하해요. 생일 축하해요. <laughs> or if the person is much older than you or the person is higher social status than you then you can use this phrase 생신 축하드려요 생신 생신 is a perfect way to say 생일 생일 생신 is very very formal but please be careful when you use this word for example if someone is just like five years older than you or just 10 years older than you and when you say 생신 축하드려요 then it sounds like I'm not that much old <laughs> please do not use 생신 <laughs> so if the person is clearly older than you maybe you're both so social status is much higher than you or someone is clearly older than you and you want to be very formal maybe your partner's parents then you can say 생신 축하드려요 but if someone is not very old but you are just being too polite then they might say why are you being too formal i'm not that much old <laughs> so 생신 축하드려요 축하드려 is another unearthly way to say 축하해요 축하해 <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my solution 스무 살인가요 스물 스 ah that's a good question so you want to know how to read this right do you know how to say 20 in native korean number in native korean number is 스물 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 but when you combine it with a counter like this it's not 스물 anymore it becomes 스무 so 20 years old not tw 20 years old is not 스물 살 but it's 스무 살 please remember 20 is an exception so when you combine when you conjugate with a counter then you don't say 스물 살 it's always 스무 스무 for example there are 20 apples 20 apples so you want to say this k k k is used when you count some item so how can i say do you say 스물 k bu 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 no it should be 스무 개 스무 개 because 20 is an exception, so when you conjugate it with a counter, please remove the and it's 스무 개. 카디, 카디자 굿잡이 스무 살. Okay. <laughs> and 
Let's look at other people. How other people answer? Except for this. Ooh. <laughs> this person's name is Minhi. Minhi, <laughs> and she's friend. She's neighbor. And now she's saying, 잘 태어났어. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it means? Do you know what it means? 잘, 잘 means well. 잘 means well. <laughs> and 태어났어 means born. So this person is say you are born well. <laughs> good, you are born. <laughs> it's good that you are born. But please know that this is not a common expression. This person is kind of making joke like, it's good that you are born. <laughs> it's kind of like slang. And Monita, thank you. <laughs> 감사합니다. I'm glad to hear, hear that. So to your close Korean friends, then you can say 잘 태어났어. But to someone who is older than you or someone, you have to be polite. You have to be polite too. Then don't use this. It's just a kind of like joke. Oh, it's great that you are born. I'm glad. <laughs> And this person, the second person's name is Gong Yu. Oh, wow. <laughs> His name is Gong Yu. Interesting. And he's supervisor. Supervisor. And this person is saying, 생일 선물 뭐 갖고 싶어? This person is saying, 생일 선물 뭐 갖고 싶어? 생일, birthday. 선물, present. So 생일 선물 means birthday present. Birthday present. Ah, Kwati. Ah, you're talking about this, right? With a silver spoon. 은수죠? <laughs> Actually, this, this just means I'm glad you're born. Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> So, oh, anyway, let me move on. So, 뭐 means what? What? 갖고 싶어 is conjugating two different words. The first word is this 갖다. 갖다 means to have. To have. 고 싶어. 고 싶어 is from 고 싶다 meaning want to. So, want to have. So, when you read this literally, then 생일 선물, birthday present, what? Want to have. What want to have? So it just means what do you want to have for your birthday? Or what birthday present do you want to have? Do you want to get? And have you noticed? There's no particle here. 생일 선물로 뭐를 갖고 싶어요? 부, 부, 부. There's no particle. Why? Why? Because in casual casual korean very often we just omit the particles even without particles we totally understand the meaning <laughs> so we just omit the particles and when we speak korean naturally well we just omit it yeah <laughs> so 생일 선물 뭐 갖고 싶어 what do you want to have for your birthday present what birthday present do you want to get and this person is saying 늦었지만 생일 축하해. 늦었지만 늦었지만 생일 축하해. 늦었지만 means 늦었다. 늦었다. I I'm late. I was late. I'm late. 지만 is from but. I'm Oh, let's do this first. <laughs> 생일 birthday 축하해. Happy birthday. I'm late but I'm I'm late, but happy birthday! <laughs> so, 늦었지만, I'm late, but happy birthday. Ah, 쿠썸, 갖고 싶어, what does it mean? I want to have, I want to have. 갖고 싶어 means I want to have. I want to have it. It's from 갖다, to have, to get. Or 고 싶어, want. So I want to have, I want to have. <laughs> 늦었지만 생일 축하, 늦었지만 생일 축하해. So when, if it's your birthday, it's your birthday, then you, your Korean friends might say like this, 
or if your friends is birthday <laughs> if your friends are having good birthday then you can use one of these friends one of these comments <laughs> okay great and john era thank you so let's move on to the next next social media phrase how about this oh you don't go tom bob these days a lot of people post interesting thing on social media right so this person is posting something interesting and saying this 이런 거 이런 거 oops 이런 거 처음 봐 이런 거 처음 봐 and 이런 is like 이런 거 means something like this something like this 거 means thing and 이런 is like this so do you see the difference between 이거 and 이런 거? 이거 means this one, this one, exactly this one. 이런 거 is like the thing like this, thing like this. So 이거 means you are pointing at something specific. 이런 거 is like something like this in general. Oh, I saw a lot of similar things. So 이런 거, 이런 거, something like this. 처음, for the first time. It's a, it just, it's a noun meaning first time. 봐, look, or see, watch. So, oh wow, this is my first time to see something like this. Or, never seen this before. Or, something like this, for the first time, I see. I see this kind of thing for the first time. 이런 거 처음 봐. So, when you see something interesting, <laughs> interesting, please, please, please use this phrase on social media. And let's see what his friends are saying. Oh, <laughs> Jose, I'm glad you are enjoying this Korean lesson. Yay! <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the first time to see something like that. So this person is saying, 그게 뭐야? 재밌게 생겼어. 짠, 그게, 그게 뭐야? 재미 있게 생겼어. 그게 우프. <웃음> 그게 그게 means 그거 plus 우프. 그것 plus 이. 그것이 그것이. So basically, it just means that one, that one, that one. And 이 is subject marking particle, right? So it's just combined and it becomes 그게, 그게, 그게. Oh, that one. 뭐야? 뭐? We just talk about it, right? What? And 야 is like is. So what is this? What is this? What is that? What is that? 재미있게. It literally means mm, interestingly. It's an adverb. And 생겼어 means it's like it's formed. Be formed, be shaped. So it literally means it's shaped interestingly. Or it just looks funny. It just looks interesting. 그게 뭐야? 재밌게 생겼어. 그게 뭐야? 재밌게 생겼어. Quat is really casual. Exactly. These phrases are very, very natural and casual. So you can freely use on your social media. Let's see what other people say. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, uh, he's, uh, her, he, yes, <laughs> his friends are really funny. So first phrase is, first phrase is, 너처럼 생겼어. <laughs> so, 너, 너처럼 생겼어. We already learned about this. 생겼어 means it looks like or it's shaped. Where it's formed. So when you see 생겼어, it just means they are talking about the appearance. Appearance. 너 means you in casual way. In Korean, we don't really say you like 당신. But when I talk with my friends casually, I say 너 a lot. You. 처럼 means like. Like. 생겼어. So it looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> 너처럼 생겼어. It looks like you. <laughs> I think the friends is just 
<laughs> joking. Another phrase. Here, the second phrase is 먹을 수 있는 건가? <laughs> so, 먹을 수, can eat. So, 먹을 수 있다 means can eat, can eat. And 건가 is from thing, thing. So, this person will say, is this something you can eat? Or is this something we can eat? Is this something to eat? 먹을 수 있는 건가? 먹을 수 있는 건가? This person is using this 가 for because this person is basically uh, talking to himself. I wonder if we can eat this. <laughs> but if this person say 먹을 수 있어? Then this person is clearly asking to you, like, Hey, hey, can you eat this? 먹을 수 있어? Hey, can you eat this? But 먹을 수 있는 건가? It's like, you are talking to yourself, like, I wonder if we can eat this. 먹을 수 있어? 먹을 수 있어 means, can you eat this? So it's uh, some nia different nuances. 먹을 수 있는 건가? What's that? Can I eat this? <laughs> 먹을 수 있는 건가? <laughs> and this phrase, 안본눈 사요. 안본눈 사요. Oops. This is slang. This is a slang. <laughs> so 눈 means eyes, eyes. And in English, you put you modify a noun after the noun, right? So for example, eyes that didn't, that did not see it. You, eyes are noun, right? Eyes a noun and you modify it after I, right? Eyes that did not see it. <laughs> but in Korean, the word is opposite. The word order is the opposite. We put this at the beginning at the bef before, before now like this, which is 안본 눈. So 눈 is I. 본 is from 보다 to see. So eyes that so. <laughs> 안 means not. So eyes not seen eyes. So this is how we, uh, oops, oops. Can you see this now? <laughs> so it's just a kind of funny expression. Funny expression. 사요 means buy. So I'll buy the eyes that didn't see. Maybe this looks not beautiful. So I, di I wish I didn't see it. <laughs> I wish I didn't see it. So someone is expressing this as funny way. Oh! I buy eyes that didn't see this. So this is kind of slang. <laughs> slang. <laughs> so do not use it in formal situation. Uh, very often we use this in online, online, <laughs> or in casual situation. Okay. <laughs> so as you see this, actually on the page, on the page that I introduced today, there are like thousands, not thousands. <laughs> there are hundreds. I'm not sure if it's over 100, but anyway, there are a lot of infographic which you can find so, 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 so useful like this. Isn't it so useful? <laughs> Let me show you the page like this. Jan, Jan. Where is the page? Oh, yes, here. Jan, 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 Jan. Yes, do you see this page? So if you click the link in the description, there are lots of uh, infographics like this. So please, please make, please <laughs> make good use of this. If you really want to learn Korean, I recommend you to print at least two or three a week and try to memorize this. Print and then put it uh, somewhere that you see very often, maybe in front of your room door. <laughs> or in front of your desk like this. And there are a lot of phrases like this, like big news, hey, something, <laughs> something happened. Or disappointed, hey guys, you know what? I'm so sad. <laughs> a relationship, yes. 
I broke up. <laughs> or, hey, I got a boyfriend like this. <laughs> or injuries. Uh, I'm in hospital. So there are a lot of situations that you often post on your social media. Like, I'm bored. Let's hang out. <laughs> or accident. I hope you don't have to use this. But like, oh, something happened. I dropped my cell phone. <laughs> Exhausted. I'm tired. And there are a lot of phrases that you can use on social media and there are some common comments that Korean people type. So check this out. These are so interesting. <laughs> and we also have social media phrases lessons. So if you want to learn more about these phrases, just like uh, I explained today, check out our lessons. Those are on our website too. <laughs> so thank you everyone. I hope <laughs> you like it. Uh, Kusum kol means seems like oh actually you mean zan kol kol is kot plus ul or kol is oops ko plus ul so basically thing is a thing thing and ul, ul and ul are particle. Kot and ko are the same, by the way. So, kol is just a thing as the object of the sentence. Kosul or kol. <laughs> so, thank you everyone. I hope. Ah, yes, Kwati, that's right. We have an infographic about the types of dogs. <laughs> so, so, I hope. You download it and check it out. How to say, uh, Yokusha Terio, Chihuahua. This is how we say the <laughs> dog, dog, uh, breed. <laughs> and next week's topic, of course, there will be a new topic next week. Jan. Whoo! Next topic was May in Korea. Yes! Next week is finally or or May. And let me introduce you. <laughs> let me introduce you what's happening in Korea in May or or. That will be super fun. <laughs> it will be culture lesson. And of course, I'll introduce some useful Korean phrases. So please join it again. It will be May 5th. May 5th in Korea is, by the way, Children's Day. 어린이날, 월요일은 어린이날이에요. So please join it. <laughs> Let's have fun! <laughs> fun! <laughs> Oh, uh, Enric, is there audio for these infogra infographics? Actually, no. But we have these infographics are basically from our vocabulary list. Have you ever seen our vocabulary list? If you go to our vocabulary section and go to a uh, vocabulary list, there are tons of free vocabulary list with audios and those infographic is just copy of these uh vocab list so check out the vocab list if you want to know uh, if you want to listen the audio and this infographic is for printing but the contents are exactly the same we just copied the vocab list and made it into infographic <laughs> and oh ten no, it's Thursday, 1 p.m. in Korean time. <laughs> yes, my lesson will be Thursday, 1 p.m. in Korean time. So, not 11 a.m. <laughs> but in your country, I think it, will, it might be 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. <laughs> so, thank you very much. 감사합니다. And I'll see you next week. Jan, 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 jan. <laughs> oh. Precure is the end is bone is but shorten is not shortened. It's completely different grammar. I did a lesson about it before, so check out my previous lesson if you want to learn more about it. <laughs> so see you and our ul ul slowly be phrases out of Korean language. Exactly, we often omit object marking particle. <laughs> so 감사합니다. 다음 주에 봐요. See you next week.